in 2023 on EA Sports. And no run back on this one. So the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. So here come the Saints to take over for the first time. And here's the new man under center after nine seasons as a Raider. Derek Carr is the guy. It's going to take some time to adjust to seeing Carr running out in a new uniform instead of black and silver. It's black and gold. 35,000 yards and over 200 touchdowns with the Raiders. The Saints more than willing to let him air it out all game long to a talented group of pass catchers in the Big Easy. A good start. One play, 10 yards. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. In his seventh season now, here's Alvin Kamara. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. He'll get 15 and a Saints first down. Well, no slow start here. A couple nice chunk plays back to back. I love the momentum that they're showing here early because they did it both ways, right? Threw the ball on first down for a nice chunk of yardage. Came right back and ran. And well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. But now he appears to be in some pain. Boy, fingers crossed here. First quarter of a new season, already an injury. And while they attend to him, we'll step aside. Well, they'll run it here on the jet sweep. Trying to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Here's second and 10. Now they'll throw with Carr. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. So you think about the Saints here in 2023. I think they wanted some stability at the quarterback position. Well, enter Derek Carr, leaving Las Vegas, if you will, to sign here. What will his presence do for a team like this? It solidifies the position up for the Saints in 2022 is like a revolving door. They can never settle on one guy due to injuries, inconsistent play, you name it. But now they've got a guy who's done it at a really high level and is fired up about doing it in a new location. First and goal, a good chance for our first touchdown of the new season. Here's Carr to throw. He's going to be sacked back at the 23-yard line. Kenneth Murray, give him the credit for the sack and a loss of 14 yards. Well, there's still time to rectify this situation because the silver lining, it took a sack on first and goal. But that close to the goal line, that still definitely hurts. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. On play action, now Carr. Completing it to the right side, Johnson. And he is out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And that'll bring up a third down and goal. Here's Carr. Shakes off the sand. But he can't get away forever. And down he goes. Kenneth Murray in there to get him once again. That's two sacks for him now here on opening day. So Carr departs and on is Blake Groupie for the Saints field goal. From the right hash, it's a 35-yard attempt. And his kick is indeed good. Well, all offseason, probably a lot of thought goes into that first drive of week one. They didn't get the touchdown, but at least they got something. And what I like about it is that they didn't overthink it. Because you're exactly right. A lot goes into the offseason, the preseason, to get to that first drive of the regular season. They went right downfield. Mission accomplished. Points on the board. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. So a new face at quarterback for the Titans in 2023. It's the 24-year-old rookie out of Kentucky, Charles, Will Levis. As if this motivated young man needed an extra chip on his shoulder. He certainly got one more when he slipped to the second round of this year's draft. This, after he was discussed, is a possible top five pick. As he likes to tell everyone, I've got a cannon for an arm, and I love to show it off. Now a man who's taking the reins with the Cowboys, it's Tony Pollard. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. Operating from the 27 now, here's second and three. Here's Pollard again. 
And he's going to lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Call that a loss of a yard, and things get a little more difficult here. Third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On third down, it's Pollard. And he'll be stopped well short. Only two yards there. Fourth and three. So opening drive, three straight runs, unable to pick up the first. I know the fans want to see first downs, but guess what? The coaches have reasons for what they're doing. Sometimes they've scripted it, and some of these runs, while they haven't been successful now, they may be successful later on. On fourth down, Ryan Stonehouse on to punt. Deep for New Orleans is Rashid Shaheed. Fielded at the 20. And call that an even 50 yards on the punt with seven on the return. And the Saints will take over with a first down and 10. They start the drive on the ground. Camara. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 48 yards rushing for him now in just his first three carries. Well, they're making a real first quarter statement with a run game, no doubt. For those who remember old school football, running it, establishing things, seeing backs find holes, get through them, they've got to like what they're seeing from this unit so far. Right now, they've decided to, set, as you said, establish the run game, and they've been successful doing it. 25 yards the pick up there and also a first down. One thing's for sure, this defense has to figure out how to stop the ground game. He's eating them up here in the first quarter. It looks like they have to go to different forces, aren't they? The conventional things aren't working too well. So I remember a coach of mine saying way back when, when a back's having a great game, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. See how far he can run without the ball. And what he meant was takeaways, not get loose, because maybe you can't just stop him and just regular tackle him. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping this second go-around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. Kamara up the middle. He's able to work free for about six down to the 18. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. Second down and four. Carr now to throw. And it's caught. The tight end hill. And the Saints are going to be set up with a first and goal here as the tackle made at the nine. A chance for a first touchdown drive of the year. It's first and goal. Try to pound it in, Kamara. A nice display of power, but it only takes him to the seven. He's dropped there. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. Kamara, try it again. And that'll move him a little closer as he takes it from the seven down to the four-yard line. Three-nothing after one on EA Sports. Ready for the second quarter from New Orleans. It's the Saints in possession. A big play if you think about it right now in this season opener. It's third and goal. Now Carr. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. Like what I've seen so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. And his kick is right there. It's good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they set up for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Titans coming back onto the field for their second drive. And one of the things we like to hit on every year are the new rule changes. And so we've got a few for 2023. A lot are procedural, having to do with deadlines and roster construction and such. But the two kind of caught my eye, Charles. One is the option to fair catch a kickoff and have it come out to the 25 like it does in college. You like that? I don't. I don't like it at all. I don't like it in college. I don't like it in the NFL. I want to have something different. And I really wanted the special teams coach to be a little bit more involved. I do understand why the league is doing it. They believe it promotes safety, and it's hard to argue against that. 
What about, this is the other one, guys can now wear the number zero. We've already seen some make the switch. Calvin Ridley, DeAndre Swift, Braxton Berrios, amongst others. Yeah, and you know something? When you see those guys make that move, I don't mind that at all, all right? A little more expressionism for these guys. I love it. I just think we didn't go far enough. What about double zero, like Jim Otto used to wear or Kenny Burrow used to wear? Let's add that back to the NFL jerseys. From the 42-yard line, here's second down and seven. Going to run again here with Pollard. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Trying to run for it with Pollard. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. It wasn't a goal line situation, but how about the goal line formation on third and short? They went in and went heavy. No surprise on who was going to get the football. How about the power exhibited there? Yeah, that was just put a hat on a hat, drive forward. Nice job to pick it up. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. Pollard going to try the right side. And good running, going to get this down close to a first at the Saints 27. Call it a gain of five there on the run, but they'll remain a yard or two short here with third down coming up. Now a shotgun handoff to Pollard. And boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. I bet they thought they had picked that one up because it was a third and two call. And they got awfully close. Now we're fourth and in inches. I wonder if they think they're feeling lucky here and maybe want to go pick it up. The folks' kick is good. And they are on the board, trailing now at 6-3. to three. So if you like field goals, you've come to the right spot. We've had three so far. But well, this is a football game, right? It is. How you like that one, huh? You like where I went with that? How about that one? I like it. Okay, but hey, let's face it. In this game right now, both defenses have responded well. They're trying to hold the line on this. You just wonder if anyone can break through with a touchdown and put some pressure on their opposition. Alvin Kamara and the Saints set to start their next drive. He's been good. His guys are winning. So far, the recipe working here in the second quarter. And he doesn't like to just tote the rock. He wants to carry his team on his back. And that's what he's done throughout this game. Yeah, he's done that. He'll be hoping to continue that trend. And even 100 yards rushing for him now as he goes over the century mark here in the season opener. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Over the middle and there's a diamond catch. And he's brought down. A good gain again. That's now 31 yards combined on those last two plays. So operating from Tennessee territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now Carr. This is caught inside the 15. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Give him 32 on the play. Running their plays over and over during the week can often get robotic for an offense. But on game day, they can often flow smoothly, as that one just did. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll pound it up the middle with Kunera. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. From the three, second and a yard. A tenth carry for Kamara. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. They give him two yards there as they're set up now the first and goal. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he is going to lose yardage here. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. After a play like that, there should be congratulations all the way around, I think, because if you can stop a big fullback like that, that's not easily done. Yeah, he does not go down easily. And he takes it across and into the end zone. Touchdown, Saints. Alvin Kamara, a three-yard touchdown run. And they are able to add on to their advantage. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet. Or they just execute.
executed better because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it works very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. They trail by 10, 13-3 as they come up on a first and 10. They'll run with Pollard to begin the drive. And he'll take this ahead for about four, second down coming up. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here. And if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up the score. Here's Levis. And he's taken down here by the Saints. The Saints going to call the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. And now a fake there on the jet sweep as they'll get to Pollard. And he's going to be brought down short of the first at about the 31-yard line. Now we'll get a quick timeout called by New Orleans, number two, as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. The offense and Alvin Kamara heading back onto the field. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously, his vision and legs have hurled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Any questions of how they'd approach this drive? We're answered right there. They come out throwing, and they get a nice pickup here toward the end of the first half. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10 to throw his car. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. On second down, here's Carr. He completes it to Alano. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 43. A solid gain of 15 yards in the sticks move. Car to throw again. That'll be taken in by Shahid. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That's another gain of 15 on back-to-back -back plays. But one of the ways that quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. And their back's up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple more times and get off the field before giving up any more. Nowhere to turn here, and he's going to go down. Back at about the 37-yard line. The safety blitz turns out to be a great call defensively as they sack him for a loss of nine. So, Charles, no turnovers yet for this offense, but those sacks now, they're starting to pile up. And one thing usually leads to another because they've got to figure out how the offensive line and everyone else involved in protection can keep their quarterback upright and allow him a chance to throw the ball downfield. Seventh play of this drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Throwing now is Carr. And he'll protect himself at the end here as he winds up getting pretty decent yardage. Nifty running there, but it'll come on what should be the final play of half number one. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime. It looks like we'll have to wait another week to get our first halftime report of the season as we move right along to the second half. 
And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Out come the Titans now. They'll have it first on offense to start the third. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively. Virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly that because those guys, the stop troops, they've been playing pretty well. They've kept them around in this game. Now they got some time. The running game struggled in the first half. Opposition knows how to... There he goes, left side! And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. Levis back to throw. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. Had an open man that time. They end up putting a little too much heat on it, don't you think, partner? Absolutely. Just needed a touch more air under it. Instead, he fired an absolute bullet. On second down, it's Pollard. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. And he is caught. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 17-yard line. That's a third down conversion of 24 yards there. Nice play. I don't know what they talked about at halftime. Whatever it was, it worked. They look like a different team here in the third quarter. Yeah, I doubt that there are very many trash cans that got kicked over that type of a speech. I think what they did was they analyzed what worked in the first half, what didn't, and figured out a better game plan. Still in search of their first touchdown of the game, but they're on the move. First and ten. And they'll send Boyd in motion left. And this is not going to work as planned. He's going to be met and dropped behind the line of scrimmage. But not many guys who can blow up plays like Chase Young. He did it again there. A rare misstep on that last play because the drive has been strong, but now it's second and 12. Pollard will take it up the gun. And again, the run defense stout this time. He maybe gets back to the line of scrimmage, but no more. The third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, how about the coverage we just saw break out on third down? Dive defense, blanketed the field with extra defensive backs and speed, unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. The folks' kick is good. And they will cut the lead back down to a touchdown now at 13-6. to six. So they were facing the deficit coming out of the locker room at intermission, and at least they're able to get the field goal to cut into that deficit. Yeah, now your offense feels pretty good about itself, right? A little bit more up to speed coming out of the break. You turn to your defense now and say, hey, we got three there. We're chipping into the lead. Can you help us out? Hold them. Let's get the ball back for us. Now the attention turns to the Saints offense getting ready for their first possession of the second half. Carr going to lead the Saints up here first and ten. At their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. It gets this complete to Shaheed. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. 15 yards is the pick up there. And the drive starting very nicely. First down. A give to Kamara running right. And now off to the races. Down the right side. Oh, some strong running. And all the way down to the 24-yard line. 155 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. So you got the lead here in the second half. Obviously, you love big runs like that at any time. Here, you really like it. And how about the confidence that's being exhibited by that offense now? They don't care what you're lining up doing on the defensive side. They want the big fella to carry the football and carry it often.
So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now Carr. Under pressure and he'll go down. Sacked back at the 31. Credit the sack there to Harold Landry. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. To throw, it's Carr. Out of the backfield, that's complete to Kamara. He'll be stopped short of the 25. The nice move couldn't free him. They'll give him four yards there, and that'll make it third and 13. From the gun, it's Carr. as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Carr can beat you in a lot of ways. The scramble there, a perfect example as he gets the first. Oh, man. Just when the D thought they had the answer for him, he went and changed the question. Surprises him by taking off himself. He's able to set up his offense pretty with a first and goal. Oh, how about this on first and goal? Yeah, that is well read there defensively. He was looking to use his speed to get the edge, but they said no way. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. From the gun, it's a run for Kamara. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. Big play coming here. It's third and goal. Play action. Now it's Carr. And he's caught by Olave. Touchdown, New Orleans. A five-yard touchdown catch. And the Saints go up by two touchdowns. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. And a point after, good by Groupie. And a lead now up to 14. And after the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And taken down just past the 20 at about the 21-yard line. And here comes Tennessee as they get sent to take the field. And tough to win games if you're going field goal, field goal, field goal here. They got field goal last time. Now they'll be looking for a touchdown. They're looking for the big chunk now because, as you noted, the field goal, field goal, field goal way of doing it makes it that much harder. It puts more pressure on every possession for you now. Go ahead and get six and feel a lot more comfortable about the position they're in. Bigger chunks. We'll see if they can get the score. Levis to throw off play action. That's yeah, to the right sideline, and it falls incomplete. Now, uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you definitely got to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. Pass taken in by his big tight end, and he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. And they convert on third with a gain of 22. For a tight end, he's got good straight line speed, and on that route, he's often the guy that gets overlooked. Nice job there finding him in stride for really good yardage. They'll go with Pollard here on first down. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. The time is called. Looks like a member of the Titans in some discomfort out there. Boy, you always hate to see injuries, especially tough here in week one. Just hoping this is nothing serious. We'll take a quick timeout. Levis to throw it. He gets this one to boy. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. So in Saints territory now, here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Levis from the gun. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. And a nice gain of 21 yards.
A man who played collegiately at nearby Tulane, it's Tajay Spears. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here live in New Orleans. Second down and eight. It's Titan football here as they trail to begin the fourth quarter. And he'll be tackled at the 23 after a gain of three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. On third down, here's Spears. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Able to get what they need to keep the drive going with a six-yard pickup on third down. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. On the option right, here's Levis. And all the way down inside the five to the four. The pickup goes for 13 and sets him up first and goal. Well, with him trailing here in the second half, maybe his legs can try to give this offense a spark. And that's the benefit of having a young quarterback, right? Having a rookie, a guy who will say, hold on a second, I have a little bit of fearlessness to my game. It isn't working as well the other way. Let's see what I can do to help my team this way. And boy, he did it there. Line of scrimmage, again, the four-yard line, second and goal. So after some runs, now they'll throw with Levis. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Tennessee. Tyler Boyd from four yards out. And the Titans have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point up and good by Folk. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Taken at the goal line. And he returns this to the 22. Back out onto the field now comes the New Orleans offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and 10. On play action, it's Carr. He lets it go deep for Olave. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Trying to get a big strike right there and hopefully tie this game up in the late going. But the coverage was there, and this winds up incomplete. Carr to throw on second down. Got a man complete to Cedric Wilson. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. And these guys certainly are not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Just week one, but already plenty of intrigue with the games going on, and this one no different as we come up on a first and ten. A give. This is Kamara to the 43, second down. I'm sure that that's going to be the formula. Just keep the ball on the ground. Keep that clock moving. And when you have the lead this late in the game, above all, stay in bounds. Yes, take care of the football. Yes, gain yardage, but stay in bounds and let that clock tick. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 174 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. Car now on first down. And his throw is incomplete. He was out there waving his arms, saying, throw it here, dropped it. Not a good look. Well, all I can do is just look at him with contempt on that one. As a defensive back, I'm saying, not as an announcer. <laughs> just like, really? 
A little bit of a diva look, isn't it? Yeah, very much so, because I think what happens is he just had too much time to think. He's wide open now. Here comes the ball, and he doesn't concentrate and drops it. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Titans' 14. That's good for 28 yards. That was a beautifully executed screen pass. Let the rushers get upfield. The blocking forms in front. Lofted it to the runner. And now, not only does he have open space in front of him, he's got an escort as well, and they pick up big yardage. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A man who's been busy this afternoon, it's Kamara again. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Car going to throw. And he's got it. Touchdown, Saints. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Saints are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Groupie able to add the PAT. And the lead now up to 14. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And it all culminates in a Saints touchdown. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Here's Tennessee ready to begin this drive offensively. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive that they watched the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. Now Levis. And that'll be off the mark, too far out in front, and it's incomplete. Well, touch and time are critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Levis. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Titans first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now again, it's Levis looking to throw it. His throw incomplete. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. The coverage keyed in on him since that last completion his way. He earned a little more attention on that route, and that made it a lot tougher to get a clean throw his way. Throw right side caught by Ridley. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle's made at the Saints 39. Here's Levis. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Oh, man, for him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch he should have made. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yeah, so let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They've given him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. They'll throw it again with Levis. Got a man, and it's taken in for a Titans touchdown. Chigakonkwo, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Titans have got it back to within a score. 
I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively there, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope when they had to slog their way downfield. They got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah, oh, yeah. yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. And this taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. Now the Saints offense, they get ready to go back to work here. And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game. You're in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts at early opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. Now Tennessee going to use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter play. And Kamara with a call on first down as he works his way forward for a gain of about six. Now the Titans will use their third and final timeout on second down, Kamara. As they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And he will have a Saints first down. It has been a struggle, but it's looking like that'll be the one to seal a victory for him. The Saints in victory formation now as they'll take the knee. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. Well, CD, always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend. And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's going to have to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for New Orleans, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for Tennessee, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.